In today's tutorial, we will create a chatbot website using Microsoft's DialogGPT medium. To start off, we'll open our Visual Studio code. That's the code editor I'm going with. You can open up any code editor you like, Sublime or Atom. So firstly, we need to download the starting code repository hosted on the Binary Hoods GitHub channel. So let's go to the Binary Hoods GitHub. So the URL is also in the video's description and you can copy this URL and download the starting code using the download zip or you can open up open it up in the GitHub desktop. Let's go back into our VS code and create a new file called and firstly let's just save it and we're going to name it app.py and we're going to write some python code. So Flask is written in Python. So let from Flask, we're going to import Flask. And we're going to also import the render template. And we're going to import request. And we're going to import JSONify. So yeah. And now we're going to name it app is equals to Flask. So this is needed. To because we're creating a Flask application, so double underscore and then the same, and it's just gonna give you a prompt. And you're gonna now we're gonna do the app dot routing. So when the application is launched, so at the application's link, the URL, so which HTML page we need to display. So for, for the home page, for the main page, we're going to display the index that will be the that will show our chat. So we're going to say define the function in Python. We do def and then we're going to name the function name index and open curly brackets. And we're going to use the Python syntax and do this and just go in the indentation and we're going to return the name of our uh, HTML file that we already have in our starting code. So we're going to name it uh chat re your uh, that's the name of the file is chat.html and we're going to use the render template and we're going to call chat.html file and come out of the indentation and we're going to name the uh, we're going to use another app routing when we send the uh, message to our chatbot so this will route for that so for this one, we're going to create our own and we're going to use some methods because for this, we need to get and send the response to the chatbot and get the response from the chatbot. So we're going to use the HTTP protocols. So the get and post protocol you may be familiar with when we are creating websites, we need these two things. These are necessary. And there is another thing also with them that's put when you're updating something on the server but we're not going to use that in this one because we're not updating anything on the chatbot server so we're going to create the function called chat and and we're gonna get the input from our ch from our html input field so i'll just show you what i meant when we open the html file so we're going to use the request that we imported from Flask and we're going to say request.form. So the form is from the HTML and we're going to get the input. So the name of the field will be MSG in the HTML. So we're going to get that field uh, text and save it into MSG. And now we'll just change it and say input. We're just going to change the M and this is just a duplication and we're going to return get chat response and we're going to say the in we're going to pass in the input so we're going to create this function now so we're going to name uh, we're going to create this function now and so let's create this function so get chat response and we're going to pass in the parentheses text and now what we need is the code for the chatbot what the chatbot will do so as you already read the readme.txt readme.md file so in that readme file 
I listed out what we are going to, which chatbot we're going to use is the chatbot that we're going to use in this video is Microsoft's Dialog GPT Medium. So we're going to go into the Hugging Face uh, website. So if you come onto the readme, readme file, you're going to see the link that I gave. So you're just going to copy that and paste it in the uh, uh, your browser. And if you come onto the Hugging Face website, you'll see the code that have provided us this. They have provided us the code snippet. This is the chatbot that we're going to use. This is quite popular and it's been downloaded over 100,000 times in the last month. And they basically train it on their own data and they have authentic user response. And so we're going to copy the code and press on this two button, copy it and come back to your code. And basically we're going to paste it over here. So we're going to use these two to put it in the top where we have all of our inputs. And then we're just going to indent this thing in our code. Yes. So now we have our code for this, but we are not returning anything because over here we need to return some, uh, we are returning this response, but we need, we don't want to print it. So we need to return it. So we need to change some things over here. So we need to, first of all, change this to str because we don't want to input we just want to basically we already get the response from the user in the field and we're just going to string that over here and we're going to convert the string into text and over here now we just need to return and we just need to change these things we need to remove this part and we need to remove this and now we will have the function ready so now to run make this executable we need to define something at the end and this is the syntax that we need so and underscore main underscore underscore and we're just gonna say app dot run And now we have our app.py file basically that will that is going to run the uh, HTML and get and post to our chatbot and receive these messages. But we need to now display these messages in the HTML file. You, uh, so we're going to go into the HTML file now. So we're going to save this now and come into the welcome folder and we're going to open folder. And we're going to go into templates and we're going to open this chat.html file. So now, as you see, we have all of our uh, starting code. So this has the form, but in this, we don't have any code where we will basically render when the user uh, sends the message or the chatbot is received, how we will render. We will do that with the JavaScript. JavaScript. So let's do that. So now once we have our chat.html, this has all the necessary code for our starting uh, chatbot template. So this has the form where we have the input message. So the input field name will be message that we defined in our app.py file. So the message over here. And we also have a button which when we press submit, then we want to basically do something and render our HTML and so we will create script tags underneath the last div tag so and we'll create a function so to create a function we'll do document dot you need to come out so ready and we'll create a function And in that function, now we will use jQuery basically to get hold of the form view, form ID. So to do that, you need to basically in the string, 
and press hash to get the ID and do message area and dot on submit we want to that's when we said on submit we want to render this function will have our event so make sure that the name is the same as message area if this isn't the same then it wouldn't do anything so now we need to create the date variable so const hour will be date dot get hours so this is the function that comes in the date object so we have the same for the minutes dot get minutes so it has plural so make sure it's the same function that I'm using and now we'll create string time so we'll say hour so and we'll say minutes now we will get the text field so we'll say raw text for the text that the user enters in this text field so we have this id text so that's we'll use this id to get the text value so we'll use dollar sign and we'll say hash text and we'll say the value so now we have the text now we need to create the user HTML so user HTML basically will put this text into the HTML we will create and basically we need to append this into this form so so the HTML is quite big. So I've already put I've already uh, uh, put it into the README file. So we'll go into the GitHub and copy it. So it's this one, the user HTML. Copy this and basically paste it over here. So make sure that this one is in line and now we need to change some fields so basically user input is our raw text so so i just put it over there because i wanted i knew that user input would go over here so we'll put raw text over here and in time we'll do string time so this has our message container and then we put the message and then we have our logo of our user so this is quite big so i didn't want you guys to basically write so long so you guys get the idea so now we need to basically append this in the form so we'll do dollar sign and we'll do hash we will do hash and we'll say message form 8 so make sure it's the same one as this so copy it that's would be better idea that would be a good idea and say dot append and do user html so that we already have and do comma so now we have the user html and we will display it in our form but we need to do with same with the bot uh, html but we need to send this raw text to our bot so we will do we'll uh, do that with the ajax uh, property so we'll do dollar dot ajax and ajax is a jquery type so we'll do data that we have and the data from the message and and uh, the raw text yes and we'll do comma and make sure that it is correct and follow what i'm doing so don't make any mistakes over here so because when we run the code finally it would if you don't have the same code as mine it wouldn't run so make sure it's the same so we'll use post request because we're posting it to the chatbot server 
and where or uh, the Microsoft Dialy GPT medium and make sure the URL is the same. So the URL is this one, the get this get so and this will basically send the message to this so so if it makes sense to you so <clears throat> we'll do get and now if uh, you have the command you have to say dot done and you have to say function so in this function parentheses we'll have our data that the <clears throat> data that will come back from our chatbot so this is the response so now we need to get back the bot html copy this and come back and paste bot html now we need to change this one into data and this one into the str time and we need now need to append it into the form so the message area form 8 this one make sure it's the same and we will do append but we need to change the date we have to parse it into html this time so we'll do dot parse html and do the bot html so now we have our code but we need to just make it to default so the event handler so when the user sends messages again it goes back and then again and again and again and it just goes back to its default when the user has stopped messaging so now we need to run the requirements requirements.txt file to download all the uh, necessary components that we need. So come back into our desktop and where we have this and open this. So we need to download these Flask Transformer Torch. So you need to come over here and download if you don't have python first of all and pip you need to download using these two links download python and pip and if you have check your if you have it run these two commands and if they are successful then basically we will run this command in our terminal to run our requirements.txt so we will open up our terminal so and i'm gonna change my directory copy this and i'm going to list out all the files using ls command and now i have the requirements.txt file over here so to run the requirements.txt file as i told you you need pip and python so i'm going to copy this command and i'm going to paste it over here and it will basically run and download so i already have these requirements installed so if it's not installed for you it will take some time once it does you will come back and run this command so python so i'm going to clear out this first using clear command and i'm going to do python app.py and it will take some time so i'll wait once it loaded loads the server and runs the file So now when it's running, we'll copy the command, we'll copy the URL, showing command C, and uh, paste it over here. So this is what a chatbot looks like now. So we can send messages and uh, when we press hello, it's going to use the app.py file and whatever we did, it's going to it's going to get the response from the chatbot function that we created and the script file when we press the button the on submit handler will go in and the uh, the date functions that we created everything will go in let's see what happens so there must be an error that something didn't happen so we'll go back and open our file and see what is going on 
So over, over here in our terminal, we can see that uh, this 200 request that it is getting the message back from the chatbot. So, so we know that our app.py file is working okay. So there must be something going wrong in the HTML file. So computer science, so the computer science is lang is a world of debugging. So we need to debug it. So let's debug our code. So we'll see what happens from here from the start. So const date is so first mistake is over here. So we haven't even we haven't initi uh, initialized the date object properly. So we need to do new date, and uh, everything is fine. So but there is a mistake over here. We are not appending it. It's comma. So you must have appended right. And there is another thing that I haven't done over here. So we need to basically uh, make our text value uh, go empty string once we have used it. So let's do that. So we have to dollar text and we have to say dot val and this time we will give it empty strings. So now let's save this and Control C to stop running the server and run it again. So now once it's running, we already have the URL in our, so just go back. So press hello and now we'll type our message. Let's see. So yes, now it displays so we can ask it any questions what is your name and uh, something like tell me a joke or let's ask who is the Prime Minister of the UK United Kingdom. <laughs> it says David Cameron, even though it's Rishi Sunak. So we'll take that <laughs> uh, that this chatbot is really far back in 2014, but it does the work and it's a, a chatbot that works. You can basically, it's a stepping stone for us and we can learn and use different chatbot APIs. So now you know how to use APIs. And so this was a tutorial uh, for the chatbot and uh, if you like the video and if you followed along the video please like the video and subscribe to our channel subscribe to binary hood and uh, thank you once again and if you want to learn how to build ios applications there are two videos that i've uploaded before these this video so make sure to check those videos out and uh, more videos are coming out and let me know what which uh, web-based projects that I should do in future or which iOS application I should make. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys. Subscribe to Binaryhood. Bye bye. See you soon.